welcome to standard form calculations. Just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for uh, this topic. Um, if you just want to check the description below for a download link, you can get a worksheet and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're going to begin by doing some multiplication of values uh, written in standard form. And basically to do this, um, we're going to break down the questions into two pieces. We're going to break them into the two values which are being uh, multiplied by a power of 10 and then the powers of 10 themselves. And so the first part is that we just need to do three times two. So three times two would be six. The times is still going to be in the middle uh, because it's impo an important part of standard form. There is also always a number between one and 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of something. The 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 4. This is where our laws of indices come in. We are multiplying with powers. And when we multiply with powers, the rule is that we add those powers together. So 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 4 would give us 10 to the power of 9. And so our answer will be 6 times 10 to the power of 9. We're going to continue that with exactly the same method for our next one. So we've got 2 times 10 to the power of 3 times 4 times 10 to the power of 8. Well, let's join together the two values which are being multiplied. So 2 times 4, that's going to give us an answer of 8. There is still going to be a multiply. And then we have 10 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Our laws of indices tell us to add those powers together. So 3 plus 8 would be 11. And so next, 6 times 10 to the power of negative 7 times 4 times 10 to the power of 2. Same idea. We're going to do 6 times 4 to begin with. It's 24. I'm going to do 10 to the power of negative 7 times 10 to the power of 2. Now again, this is a uh, multiplication, so we're going to add those powers together. Negative 7 plus 2 would be negative 5. Now there is a problem with this answer, and that is this is not standard form. Standard form must always have a value between 1 and 10 at the start. And because we've got 24, that number is too big. And so we would need to actually place a decimal point in between there. We need to make it a number between 1 and 10. And because we've done that, what we've actually done is we've already used one of these little jumps. So here, we were suggesting it was uh, five jumps to the left. We've used one of them already in order to turn it into 2.4. And so to continue the five jumps, we would only need negative four. So our final answer here would actually be 2.4 times 10 to the negative four. In our final example, we have 2.2 times 3. So 2.2 times 3 would give us 6.6. .6. 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the negative 3. Again, this is multiplication, meaning we add the powers together. 5 plus negative 3. Well, that is just like doing 5 take away 3. That would be 10 to the power of 2. So 6.6 .6 times 10 squared. So next we're going to look to division and we're going to treat it in very much the same way. Um, we are going to divide the two values and then divide the powers of 10. Um, this is the uh, standard form so we will still in our answer end up with a multiply sign. Um, we're going to have 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. We're still going to have our multiply for our times 10 to the power. But now we are dividing with indices. The rule when we divide with indices is that we subtract. So 7 take away 3 will be 4. So it's 3 times 10 to the power of 4. 8 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 4 times 10 to the power of 8. Well, again, we want to join together our 8 and our 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. It's still going to be a multiply. And then we have 10 to the power of 3 divided by 10 to the power of 8. And so again, we need to subtract those powers. 3 take away 8 is negative 5. 
and so our final answer would be 2 times 10 to the negative 5. In the third one, we have 6.4 divided by 2. 6.4 divided by 2 is 3.2. And then we have 10 to the power of negative 7 divided by 10 to the power of 4. And so that is going to be negative 7 take away 4. And so that takes us to negative 11. And then finally, we have 2.8 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 4 times 10 to the negative 3. Well, if I divide 2.8 by 4, I get 0 0.7. If I do 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of negative 3, well, there we have 5 take away negative 3. And if we do that, that's the same as adding. So it'll be 10 to the power of 8. Now, again, we have a small problem with this answer. 0 0.7 is not between 1 and 10. And so we need to make it a number between 1 and 10. The way to do that would be to make this a 7. But that means that we have used one of our jumps to the right. Uh, we were expecting to make 8 jumps to the right based on this, but we've used one of them up. And so we're actually going to have 10 to the power of 7. So now we're going to move on to some calculations which are a little bit more uh, more complicated um, if we want to give our answers in standard form. Um, so we're beginning with a question of 0 0.003 times uh, 1.2 million. Okay, And um, the idea is we're going to give our answers in standard form. So it would actually be useful if we actually convert them all into standard form to begin with. And so for 0 0.003. Well, if we wanted that as standard form, it would have to be 3 times 10. And then we'd need to think about what the power is that we're using. Well, that would be 1, 2, 3 spaces to the left, so to the power of negative 3. Our um, 1.2 million, again, the 1.2 is a useful value there, because that's how we get it between 1 and 10. How many spaces have we moved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces to the end. So times 10 to the power of 6. And then these two values are being multiplied. And so now we come to the method that we've just been looking at. We want to join together our 3 and our 1.2. If I do 3 times 1.2, I get 3.6. And if I do 10, time, uh, 10 to the power of negative 3 times 10 to the power of 6, well, that is an addition of the powers. So negative 3 plus 6 would be 10 the power of 3 and so our final answer will be 3.6 times 10 to the power of 3. In our next question we have 0 0.00016 divided by 0 0.008. Now again the first thing I want to do is convert these into standard form to start with. So to make this a standard form number it needs to be a number between 1 and 10 so it'll be 1.6 and that means 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces to the left, so times 10 to the negative 4. That is being divided by this number, 0 0.008. Well, that would need to be 8, 1, 2, 3, so times 10 to the negative 3. And if we look at this, we've got 1.6 divided by 8. Well, 1.6 divided by 8 is 0 0.2. 10 to the power of negative 4 divided by 10 to the power of negative 3. So that is negative 4 take away negative 3. That is actually 10 to the power of negative 1. But there's a problem with our answer there. That is not standard form. This 0 0.2 would need to become 2. Now, we are expecting here, because it's a negative 1, that we would move one place to the left. But we've already actually moved a place to the right and so when it becomes 2 we have to bring both of those jumps together it will be 2 times 10 to the negative 2. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 2 times 2 times 10 to the power of 8 over 4 times 10 to the power of 5. 
Now, the reason that this one's a slightly more uh, tricky is that we actually have to con uh, convert the top first and then do the division. And so we need to do 1.6 times 2. So 1.6 times 2 is 3.2. 10 to the power of negative 2 times 10 to the power of 8. Well, that will be times 10 to the power of 6. And that is being divided by 4 times 10 to the power of 5. So division, we can do it like this as well. We can just treat the first part as the first thing we need to do. So 3.2 divided by 4. Well, that would be 0 0.8. And then deal with the second part. 10 to the power of 6 times uh, divided by 10 to the power of 5. Well, that would be times 10 to the power of 1. Now, in this case, we can actually do this uh, quite straightforwardly because what is times uh, what is 10 to the power of 1? 10 to the power of 1 is 10. So 0 0.8 times 10, the answer is actually just 8. And finally, 2400 times 0 0.03 divided by 9000. So again, what I want to do is start by changing these into standard form. So that's going to be 2.4 times 10 to the power of 3 times 3 times 10 to the negative 2, all divided by 9 times 10 cubed. And so then we just need to work through each of those sections. I'm going to start with 2.4 times 3. 2.4 times 3 is 7.2. 10 cubed times 10 to the power of negative 2. Well, that will be adding those two powers together, which will be 10 to the power of 1. And that is being divided by 9 times 10 to the power of 3. And again, if we deal with the first piece, 7.2 divided by 9, well, that is 0 0.8. And 10 to the power of 1 divided by 10 to the power of 3 is times 10 to the negative 2. But again, 0 0.8, this is not standard form. We need to make it standard form. So we were expecting here to go two places to the left. But we have added in an extra loop. And therefore, that is 8 times 10 to the negative 2. And so we end with our exam question. This came from the Edexcel paper in November 2017, and it was Foundation Paper 1. And it asks us to work out 0 0.06 times 0 0.0003 divided by 0 0.01, giving our answer in standard form. And so as soon as we see these words, give your answer in standard form, it's actually a suggestion that you're best off turning everything into standard form to begin with. So our 0 0.06, that will be 6 times 10 to the negative 2. That is being multiplied by 0 0.0003, which will be 3 times 10 to the negative 4. And then that is all being divided by 0 0.01, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 2. So we'll start at the top. We've got 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. And we've got 10 to the power of negative 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. We need to add those powers together. So that is 10 to the negative 6. That is being divided by 1 times 10 to the negative 2. And so we then need to just take the first piece, which is 18 divided by 1. That's 18. And then the second piece, so 10 to the negative 6 divided by 10 to the negative 2. Remember, this is a division, so we are subtracting the powers. Negative 6 take away negative 2 is 10 to the power of negative 4. So 18 times 10 to the negative 4 is good, but it's not quite right because this is not standard form. We're expecting that we're going to take four places to the left. But uh, what we are actually needing to do 
we need to use 1.8 and therefore we've used one of those jumps and so it's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 3.